So case history two is a lady, a 79-year-old lady, who had previously been very independent at home. And she suddenly collapsed and fell against a radiator and she was there for 24 hours, which was awful. And she spent five weeks in hospital and three weeks in a rehab unit and she was discharged home with a Zimmer frame that limited her mobility. And she was very, very upset about that because she was out and about doing all sorts of things previously. The wound was very slow to progress and pre presented us with a lot of man management challenges. Mainly, they were exudate containment because she sometimes needed to have twice daily dressings and her surrounding skin became very excoriated, which you'll see in a minute from the pictures. And we were using a film dressing and we had to keep taking that off sometimes twice a day. Adherence was obviously an issue and pain at dressing changes was such a challenge. Um, she didn't like the appearance of the dressings that were there because of strike through, which was um, really quite distressing for her, and she just lost confidence altogether. So putting our well-being into context, she had constant leakage onto the clothes and bed linen, wound wasn't progressing, and it was having a negative impact on the patient, her, herself, and her family as well. She felt she didn't want to interact with her family. From a social well-being point of view, she was unable to go to her clubs, to bingo, to shopping, and all of those things were what kept her going before. And she was very concerned about the wound leakage, so she was just too frightened to go out the door, basically. And also the dressings were kept coming undone, which was a real issue to her. She was very anxious. She phoned us, phoned the district nurses every single day to come and visit and sometimes twice a day because she was just had no faith in the dressings at all and dressing related pain on removal she had anticipatory pain because she'd got herself into such a state every time the nurse was coming to change the dressing so you can see we had a lot of challenges to deal with there i'll just go to the pictures there i'm not sure if you can see that very well it's a bit of a shadow i've got some others as well but the, the real issue was the surrounding skin of the wound. We had a lot of exudate with this wound, but the surrounding skin was the issue because it was quite a, an extensive area that we had to deal with that had become so excoriated and was really, really painful for her. So the dimensions of that were nine by eight, and previously we'd used a non-adherent dressing, Atraman, a Zetchevit pad, which is an absorbent pad, and a film dressing over the top. And so we commenced a large sized leave-in, durafiber underneath, and she, I put the first dressing on actually, and I said, I'll come and see you tomorrow, and we'll just see how it goes, because I wanted to try and get her confidence quite quickly. She felt really confident. She didn't phone anybody, which was fantastic. And um, she was very pleased when we took the, re redid the dressing the next day, reduced pain at dressing change, she hadn't had any leakage and she was able to go out because it was Mother's Day actually and she was able to go out with her son for lunch which was lovely. So one week later the wound was eight centimetres by seven and we were doing dressings every other day and just for a week and then we went on to every three days. We just wanted to get her confidence. So that was the dressing in situ. And you can see that it was, um, we were still having an issue with the surrounding skin, but it did cover the whole area, which was marvellous for her. She was really relieved. And that was it um, the, with the reduced size. And it was improving. You can see the surrounding skin is improving already. And that was it a week later. So she was absolutely thrilled. <laughs> 